today is one of the days where we um, invite a guest speaker into our room and we do this more than once a year. Um, but for example, today, Mr. DeYoung is a professor and we invited him in to do a lesson with um, our kids for poetry. And together they came up with the rap song, make it, and again, it goes back to making it relevant to their learning and something that they can relate to and something that is about them. So they had to create a rap song that rhymed, obviously, with facts about themselves. So that's another way that gets them involved in their learning and that makes it useful or makes it interesting for them. We have been studying in reading, along with writing, uh, poetry. And poetry is, a very, is one of the um, objectives that the kids have a hard time with. Understand the terms, the terminology. Every year I've just made a habit of coming to visit her class and help them work with whatever they're working with. Um, I was really excited that she was talking about uh, poetry because that's something near and dear to my heart so I came up with a fun activity we could do. Poetry is, can be really challenging and abstract. There's a lot of kind of rules involved that are hard to grasp at first so I tried to teach them kind of through the lens of hip-hop and rap. So I taught them how to beatbox so that they could hear a beat kind of in their head while they were writing rhymes to make sure that the, the rhymes actually fall like where they should in the beat. So they're kind of learning how meter works implicitly instead of just trying to like teach them through some kind of abstract uh, method. They think it's fun to beatbox and then they like to kind of tell their own story through rhymes so it comes together pretty well. Today I learned how to make, uh, make rhymes and do a rap. It was really cool experience. It uses a lot of hard work and rhyme. You need a lot of, for both, you need a lot of vocabulary and rhymes to make a successful piece. 